future and you look better. You look <laughs> now wait a minute. I got one more thing to say. And then I think we need to pray. Because I feel like it's praying time. In the church of God in Christ. I don't want nobody to walk. I don't want nobody to leave. I don't care what you got to do. It ain't worth it, honey. You get ready to miss one of the greatest manifestations that ever took place in your life. God's about to make history in this church tonight. Trust my God's about to make history. Because we're going to cry under God at the same time. Y'all ain't seen nothing to me. Some of your own saints, the way the church look now, it didn't look like that when y'all came in here. I want you to go to weeping and cry like the Bible said. I want the mothers in Zion and all the first ladies. I don't want you to sit there cute. Please not tonight. Take your cute self home. I can't hear nobody. What we need, what we need is some praying mothers, some praying sisters. The Bible said, call for the cunning women, call for the moaning women that they may come. Call. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all getting me on the paper women, but y'all like to jump on the women's case. But the women ain't the only one that ain't praying. They got some backslidden preachers, backslidden elders. You better thank God I'm not over you. I call for your license because you ain't doing a doggone thing. I can't hear nobody. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Oh, I know y'all don't like what I'm saying. Oh, I know y'all don't like it. This show bold got on good grads bragging on what's about you got your car's bigger than the churches it's sad i know because i preach in them i know because i preach in them i can't hear nobody i'm going on back down good god almighty i just came up here because i wanted the bishop to help me i can't hear nobody because there's gonna be a suicide after me good god from zion something is wrong something is wrong when your house is bigger than the house of god you a lying prophet you a crook and a robber call yourself a church of god christ preacher you better stop lying you ain't no church of god christ preacher a church of god christ preacher will pay the rent on the church before they pay their own rent and then move in the church and tell god bless them i know what i'm talking about what I did. Y'all around here trying to get what you can from the bishops. I can't hear nobody mad because the bishop won't give you no money. Y'all ain't seen nothing to me. You ought to preach out your own work. Something is wrong. Stop sitting up in them churches expecting folks to come in. Go into the street. Get you a bullhorn. Get you a bay. Get you a truck. I can't hear nobody. Get on television. I know y'all don't believe it. It's the best field could have saved souls now. Get on the radio. Stop to my come by here, Lord. Because neither are they coming. And God ain't there. I can't hear. Then you got the nerve. Then you got the nerve. They say the only reason why I only got a few members is because they don't want to hear my gospel. You don't want to hear your own gospel. So you know they don't want to hear. Don't nobody want to hear about what happened 25 years ago. They want to hear fresh word. Get in your Bible. Stop trying to theological. Arrange your sermon. Stop trying to critique. Stop trying to politic. Oh, I'm sorry, Bishop. Stop trying to politic. In your pulpit. Stop trying to credentialize. And ask those people, do you want to hear from God? And if you can't preach, take that Bible. Somebody say, yeah, 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 yeah. God, I feel like preaching. Lord, help me tonight. I got to tell it. I might not get the mic again. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. But let me explain something to you. I got a problem, not just with the women, but the Bible talked about you brothers. It said men ought to always... Not send the 
missionaries, not the people in there praying. And you in the office sitting on some tea. To my what's up, doc? And you ain't even got no doctor degree. Something is wrong with your mind. Good God from Oh God. Oh God. Listen, see. What we need to do is have a prayer revival. Stop sending for folks across the country. Don't even send for me. But get your own people in your own church and have your own revival. Because if you can't help your people, they can't nobody help them like you can. The Bible said the effectual fervent prayer of a oh that's the problem. Oh uh oh Bishop. The effectual fervent prayer. Uh oh. I'm uh oh. Uh-oh. Of a help me y'all. Say it again. Every woman go over and don't claim no husbands, but go over to that man and say, you gotta be righteous, man. Tell him like this. Tell him if I gotta keep my dress down, you gotta keep your zippers in. But we need to go in the hospitals and get our sick members out of there. Don't you know many of our members are dying with sugar diabetes, high blood pressure. They're sitting in the church and they're dying. Go to the hospital and get them. And then the Bible said, I saw for a man to stand in the gap. Can he find one? Put your hand up at these elders and bishops. Put your hand up at them. Bishops, y'all throw your hands up. And I want you to begin to anoint them. Begin to lay your hand and say, God, anoint him to take us up. Anoint him to take us higher. Anoint him to lead us from hell. Then take us to heaven. The Bible said, he sought for a man to stand between the gap, to hold on to the horns of the altar. Please don't anybody move. I want to go on and do the traditional hoop and tell you about praise. Because every preacher knows if you end a sermon with praise, you'll hit a home run. But I didn't come to hit a home run tonight. Don't anybody move. May I be sure? You got it. I was able this year to preach the pastors and elders conference. I thought it was the greatest opportunity. I was able to preach for our state. But this opportunity is the greatest. Not because I'm up here. I said to everybody that all the elders, the brother, uh, Bishop Ellis, all of the people that I, Bishop Willis, uh, Bishop, everybody that I could, if I saw you, I reached over to you and said, please pray for me. Bishop Green, you were in the restaurant and we sat next to each other and I, I said, Bishop, please pray for me. Folks say, oh, that's the speaker Friday night. Woo. Oh, he the speaker Friday night. Oh, you gonna be all right, doc. I held my hand down. I wept. 
some people even said, you, you got it, you got it. My biggest fear was that I would get up and say something that could not penetrate the heart of man. You see, I'm convinced, church, this is not something to be taken lightly. This is judgment work. This is not about being a popular brother among the brethren. It's not this about. It is not about saying, oh, Nate slayed him. That ain't nothing but flesh. Did you hear what I said? It's nothing but flesh. When you go back home, we got tonight, tomorrow, official day, Monday. That's three more days. Church, don't move. Listen to me. And hear me and don't you ever forget what I'm about to say. This year, will be the turning point of our lives. And the devil tried everything within his power just to make this a mediocre meeting. To make it just another meeting. Last year the devil came in a little bit because y'all ain't sending it to me, not with them, but with us because of the voting. Some of you couldn't praise God like you wanted to because you wanted your bishop to be on the board. Oh, oh I'm sorry. So some of you didn't get breakthroughs. But this year, there's no excuse. God wants to make up the difference. Hope you are shouting about the other. And if you want it, I declare unto you. Tonight will be the beginning. You'll walk through the corridors speaking in tongues. You'll go back to your rooms and won't be able to sleep tonight. You're going to have to pray for me after this because I feel the devil off to my feet. But I'm putting him under there. Listen to me. Hold on. Listen to me. As a matter of fact, brother organist, get off the organ. You need to be touched too. Musicians, put your music down. Everything in here. Let's get to God. Listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. Listen and hear me, please. I'm not speaking in flesh. I'm not speaking as a little preacher, trying to make points. Point your finger at somebody, and I mean, I want you to give it to them like you know that they have been in some error. Tell them, stop wasting time. This mess is not going to allow us. You're not going to heaven with this crap. And we're on our way to heaven. I said, we're on our way to heaven, y'all. Yes. Our children are dying. Yes, sir. And going to heaven. Your son is on crack. And you're a district missionary. You're an evangelist. And you're the one that's been saved for 20 years and nobody in your house is saved but you. You're the one that's been sleeping in bed with an unsaved man. And go home every night wondering, God, what are you going to do to save him? We're going to see God save him now. 
our children are going to be delivered. We're getting ready to pray. I say we're getting ready to pray. There's about to be a revolution. Rebecca, tell somebody, this means war, devil. There's a war going on. And if we're going to win, we're going to have to fight. But y'all want to sit on the sideline. You won't get nowhere like that. Now listen to me. Tonight, David took the leaders and the Levites. The people from the cities and the suburbs. The young and the old. And gather them together. Listen to me. You are not here just to say I went to the convocation. Oh yes, oh yes. You're here because this is the meeting that God wants to bridge the old with the now and the now with the new. God said to me in prayer, Bishop, when I left the room, he said, tell the bishops and the people of God, we are going to another level. Wait a minute, don't get excited. But he said, tell the people of God, this next level must not be limitized to what you can see to what you can feel, to what you know, to what you've already experienced. This next level will be, listen closely, dimensional. Did you hear what I said? It will be dimensional. Do me a favor and do your hands and say dimensional. Dimensionable. Oh, oh. Dimensional. We are going into places in God. Don't stop, come on. Where we've never been before. Tonight will be the night that we will take up the baton. We've had 20, almost 30 years of playing church. We've made records. We've made organizational strides. Oh, I can't hear nobody. But we've lost the essence of the purity, of the reality, of the flowing of the power. Our churches used to be in the worst neighborhoods. And the police would come and say uh, uh, something happened because of the crime and our rate going down because your church is in uh, this neighborhood now we're leaving those neighborhoods and going to other places but God is calling for a new dimension now listen to me stay right where you are if you see somebody walking tell them don't miss God if you have to take a pill this is the best pill to take. The Holy Ghost can heal your body and deliver your soul. God Almighty can do a work inside. Now listen quickly. Listen to this. Is there anybody in this building that feels Just want God. I got the house. I got the car. I got the money. I got the position. But, but what?
what I really need. And what I really want. What I really want is God. I gotta have him. I gotta have him. I gotta have him. More than just a shout. More than just speaking in some hashed over, warmed over tongues that you've been speaking in for 25 years. Gotta have him. Now, we have to have a vote. We have to have an election. Can we do it? Yes, Mr. Chairman of the General Assembly. Not for the position. Not for trustees and for bishops and for, not for who to place here and pull down there and to put over that committee and this. No, no, no. Can we do this first? May we? I know that you are the chairman of the General Assembly, but can I hold a gravel right now spiritually? May I? Bishop, yes. All right, the gravel's in my hand now. We're about to have an election. I want to know, is there anybody in here wants God. Yes! Wait. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. Our founder, Bishop Mason, whom I was so humbled and grateful to God when our presiding bishop said today that they were going to make tapes and CDs and things of that stuff ready to the body because I've never seen him except for on the pictures, I, I have been fortunate enough to be able to get the see, to see the videotape. They say there's one, I came to Memphis to get it, but I'd never seen it before. Think about it. But I do know that the lingo of the saints, and the one key word that he taught us and impregnated us with, Total surrenderance. Yes. Self-denial. Yes. Giving up all. Selling out to God. No more I. But Christ that lives in me. Who is the hope of glory. My deliverer. My strong tower, yeah. my keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want them back in the church? Yeah. Like you've never had them before. Yeah. Do you want to see signs, yeah. miracles? Yeah. Listen to me. All over this building. The yeses have it. And anybody that says no, get out the church. Because we don't need you. You've come to hinder. Now listen. Now that we've asked the question and we've got the rapport, this time I want every person to not just say, Yes, I want you to yell it out from the top of your lungs till your insides shake, till it heals the cancer, dries it up, till it shakes your bloodstream back from low blood or high blood in the right blood, till the sugar comes out of your And then we're going to pray if we can. Now listen to me. At the count of three, I want everybody in this building, if you got to take off your hat, if you got to move the person beside you over, 
please don't be cute to me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Everybody in the building, from the back to the front, to the sides. If you see somebody walking, tell them that don't move, miss God. Because I've got to do this like never before. At the count of three, I want you to open your mouths and I want you to say it like you're going crazy. Lose your absolute mind. Act like when you first got saved, before you got the credentials, before they made you what you are right now. Go back until you fall down at the outside, till you have to shake and wreck and move. Don't lose, don't look at nobody, just close your eyes. And at the count of three, I want you to open up your mouth and as loud as you can. Let's shake the rafters. Let's let the light shake. Let's let the heavens jump. Get ready. One, two, three.
The Lord is going to do a new thing. Tell somebody you're going to see a new thing happening. You see, somebody was saying, I want him to do it in my home. But before he does it in your home, he got to do it in you. Run back and tell somebody, I want the Lord to do it in me. In me, Lord. In me, Lord. Me, Lord. Me, Lord. Now listen. Every man, every woman, I have to tell you, devil who. I have to obey. God's hands are on you. I said, God's hands are on you. Give up the world and be saved, and God will use you. Oh, 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 a wonder here. Woo. God said, don't be so overzealous. Wait on the Lord. Wait, wait, wait on him, son. The devil right back and say, wait, 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 wait on him. Wait on him. The devil God, it is the man of all over this place. Listen. Zion, I want you to listen as close as you can. Do you hear like this and say, God, I hear you. Loud and clear. Now we're going to do three things in the next few minutes. And then we'll give the mic over. Tell somebody, you know this is God. And if you're glad about it, I dare to tap three, anoint three people on the shoulder and on their feet and tell them, go ahead on, be anointed, be anointed. The Lord anoint you. The Lord give you a new anointing. The Lord give you a new anointing. The Lord give you a new. Grant it here, grant it. Grant it here. Listen, 
in here. Oh, spirit of Bahia. I have to obey the Lord. Do me a favor and point your hand in my direction and say, Nathan, obey the Lord, son. Come on, say it again, Nathan. Obey the Lord. Somebody wants to know why I didn't say Pastor Simmons, Elder Simmons. God's not studying about that. When I see him, I just want him to say, Nathan, enter in to the joy of the Lord and receive your reward. Rear back and tell somebody, God's going to pay you here. going to heal. Now listen, you've got to obey the Lord. Listen, listen, hear the Lord, please. Hear the Lord, hear the Lord, hear the Lord. The Lord spoke to me and I don't say these things lightly because I don't want to be a liar. I fear God with everything I've got. I'm determined I'm not going to hell. You can go to hell if you want to, go to hell on, but I'm going to heaven. Did you hear what I said? I'm going to see Jesus. And I'm not going to see him with animosity, with vengeance, with envy, with jealousy, or strife. Follow peace with all men, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Now listen, the Lord said something and he didn't say it by chance. I was praying, I left the meeting this afternoon about something to one. And I went in the room and from one until eight, I laid out before the Lord. Six, almost seven hours. Because I'm not a gifted young man. I'm not a talented person. And I want to be anointed with all my heart. I'd rather die than not to have the anointing. I never want to be a Samson. Samson shook, but he didn't have nothing to shake with. Uh, somebody clap your hand and say, shaking the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You people are clapping not like Pentecostal people. I thought we were sanctified. Oh, yeah. When we clap, we don't clap at the same rhythm. See, the devil can get in stuff and, oh my, uh, that's another lesson, I'm sorry. But the devil can get in stuff when you just... And he can get the pattern of what you're going through and get in it and throw a monkey wrench. Oh, but if you're clapping the spirit. Every now and then for the glory. 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 Now listen, the dear people of God that are here tonight, I ask that you obey the Lord. I beseech you by the mercies of God. If you never did anything in your life, I literally beg you to obey God. What, did, what happened here? Obey God. What did you say? Obey God. Obey God. Obey God. Obey God. Oh, there was an anointing in that. <laughs> We're back and say, Obey God. Now, listen to me. I'm not crazy. I know that in this vast August body, the devil would like to trick many of you 
and get you to miss God. But the Lord said it, and I have to obey him, or else I don't want to live. I'm not doing this for any reason other than that the Lord said to do it. Now listen to this. The Lord spoke to me and said that it's time for the people of God to receive a hundredfold return. Oh, yes. Somebody say, wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. And then am I? I know it seems like a mystery how God can take something simple, something tangible, and confound the wise, move the minds of the wicked. Stay where you are. Don't you move. Listen to me and hear me like you've never heard me before. The Lord said to me in prayer, he said, tell every saint of God, whether they're in the balconies, in the back, on the platform, in the hallways, to obey God. Now listen to what he said. He said to tell the saints of God, even if it's your last hundred dollars, give it and check out the hotel and sleep on in your car. But you'll never regret it. Even if you got to share the room with somebody else and tell them, I want to obey the Lord. But I have to make some arrangements. I have to obey him. Ushers, I know you're used to collecting the money, but tonight I'm going to ask you to go in your pockets and obey the Lord. Saints, if you never heard God before, please, God's not saying this because it's needed. He wants to see if you really want me. Will you obey me? This next era will have to do with obedience. It will not have anything to do with who you know or what you know. My father's not a bishop. My mother's not a state mother. I was born an illegitimate child, but I went by the sanctified church of God in Christ at 12 years old and said, I want to be like them and look at what God can do. Go into your pocketbooks. My bishop is my father. Yes. These men, Bishop Ellis and Bishop Willis and Pastor White and Pastor Lennox and Bishop, these men from a distance have embraced me. Bishop Winbush, my tent went down. This summer I put up a tent. Over 741 souls came to Jesus. And it came down. Bishop Winbush, Bishop Blake, other bishops. My bishop sent me an offering to put the tent back up yes, so those souls would get saved. It was just a blessing because the news came from everywhere. And that's how the tent got filled up because it was on channel ABC, NBC. The Church of God in Christ got recognition all over Atlanta, Georgia because I got on the radio saying I'm encouraged to walk with Jesus. What's the name of your church? The Citadel of Hope Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. What is that? I said that's a Pentecostal holiness church. Don't walk anybody. Stay where you are. Please don't obey. Don't disobey. I'm going to ask you to get that offering in your hand. I'm going to ask you to obey God like you've never obeyed him before. And I'm going to ask you, now listen, don't move. Please don't disobey God. 
I'm going to do something that I know seems crazy. But the Lord said to bring the offering and lay it on the altar at my feet. I want you to obey God like you've never obeyed him before. Now don't worry about it if you don't have it. If you don't have it, God's got something for you. But don't you sit, don't you sit there and doubt him. Bring it quickly. That hunt, bring it, bring it, bring it. Don't put it in the basket. Bring it, bring it right here. There should be a, uh, oh, God said he's, God said the struggle, sir, is over. And when you get back, God said it's going to be done. Ooh, oh, good God. Bring it, please. Please obey the Lord. Thank you. Obey the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Obey him. Please get, obey the Lord. Please obey him. Obey him, please. I beg you to obey him. Uh, oh, God said it's in your body. It's done, sir. I felt healing in my hands. Oh, good God. Oh, oh, good. There it is. Jesus. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. I don't care if it's your last hundred dollars. You got to bring it. You have to obey the Lord. I don't care if you can't go to the Perkins. Or if you can't go to the restaurant. Obey the Lord tonight. Yes, ma'am. Please. He's a deacon died with cancer. God, heal him. Get Take this handkerchief and lay it on his body. And the Lord's going to heal him. Oh, be a son of a whole. Glory on my son. When I said that, I felt healing in my body. <laughs> Glory. Bring your offerings, please. Yes. Yes, you can. Just bring it and put it in, in the hands of one of these men, please, if you will. Yes. God said, let me fix it. You've been trying to handle it. Get out the way, man. And let me do it for you. Oh, Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Please listen to me. Don't grieve the Holy Ghost. I beg you, if you have any sensibility to the Spirit, don't walk out right now. I know it's late, but please obey the Lord. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. God touch you now. God heal you. Oh, the Lord does the work now. Quickly, please. Yes. Yes. The Lord bless you. Come on quickly. Bless you, my elder. I love you so much. Please. Yay. Sir, God said you have gone through it, and the worst is over now. Mother, the Lord said it's your time. Oh, catch her, catch her, catch her. Please catch her. Let her go on out. Somebody hold her. Let her go on out. Oh, God. Let him lay on out, honey. The Lord's going to bless him. Bless you. I want you to stay strong. Don't hang around with nobody weak. Stay around people that got a hope in God. Will you do promise me, son, that you'll do that? Stay around somebody that knows how to get a prayer through. Don't fool with these weak folks. Don't fool with these folks that ain't going nowhere with God. Fool with people that got some risk. Come on. Oh, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Thank you, Elder. Uh, the Lord bless you. She's, how old is she? She's 41 years old. Listen, take this handkerchief. Hey, glory to God. And then call home. She hasn't been able to eat. She hasn't been able to dress. But I hear the Lord saying, when you call home by Sunday, she's going to be able to. That's part of the whole Yes, Lord. The Lord does it. You say what now? We're sleeping in our car. We came here all the way from Los Angeles, and God brought us here. And I have a quarter, and that's what I'm going to give you. I don't have any money. Praise the Lord. But I thank God for being here. He called us to the ministry. Me and my husband are evangelists. If you suffer with him, you'll reign with him, dear. Did you hear what I said? This is the turning point of what God wants to do in you. God uses us. And God, I anoint her to when she goes back to California to take the work up like never before. Jesus, quickly come. Come on, please. 
I don't want to touch it. Just put it in. Just, yes, yes, mother. The Lord bless you. I don't want to touch it. I just want you to do it. Come on, just drop it. Please, just bring it down. Please, I don't want to touch it. I don't deal with money. I don't deal with it. I don't deal with it. I just simply obey the Lord. God said, in your body, mother, get ready. I feel the pains. But God said, he's healing. Did you feel it? Did you feel Yes, sir. My God, today, big glory. Yes, sir. All right, stay right on the side. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless you. Please come on. The Lord bless you. Please, saints, come on as quickly as you can. Please come as quickly as you can. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Lord bless you. Come, please. Choir members, everybody, obey the Lord, please. I beg you to obey the Lord. Yes. Uh, For my niece, yes. Gerald, for the Lord to deliver her. The Lord. What, is, what is wrong with her? She's not saved. She's not saved. Save her, Lord. Everybody say, save her, Lord. Say it again. Save her, Lord. Oh, I just heard the Lord say, I'm saving over 3,000 children. Oh, God. Oh, God said, by the time you come back to the convocation, your son is coming back with you. Your daughter's coming. Oh, God does the work. Yes, Lord. Please come on quickly. The Lord bless you, darling. Oh, Yes, God. Yeah, God. Yes, darling. Yes. All right. God, do it for her now. Devil, you are come, come out. Yeah. Loose, 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 loose. Huh. 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 There it is. There. Huh. Jesus. Somebody run back and say, Jesus. Come on, call them like you believe it. Jesus. Come on, quickly. Uh, Jesus. 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 Uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, hey, Jesus. 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 Heal tonight. Deliver tonight. Set free. Find the enemy here. Loose your hold. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, God said, you've been going through, honey, and the devil's been having a field day with you, but this is your day. Uh, God said, it's over now. Uh, it's over. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, help me, saints. Come on, come on. Jesus, come on, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh, 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 God heal her. God heal her. Now. Yeah, that's oh, oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, ma'am. i the church and I need finance. Oh, God, do it for now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Please, I don't want to touch it. Yes, ma'am. You want him saved? How long have you been married to him? Been married to him 50 years. 50 years and he's not saved. You're one of the ones I was talking about. God wants to save him. Uh, God said it's time for you to I don't know what's going on but God said that he's put you in a place you stay by your leader who are you under Kenzie God says stay with him God said the enemy is trying to get you to move 
and take the young man away. But God said, stay at his feet and be blessed. Woo. That's better. God said, the blessing is walking humbly and staying by the man of God. Uh, yeah. I know you don't believe it, but you better be humble. I don't care how great God is using you. Stay humble at the feet of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Please. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, saints. Come on, quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh oh. God said the devil's been on your case. But I want you to get free tonight. Right back and say free as loud as you can. No. No, honey, you got to stop being cute. Say it like you mean it. If you say it again, the Lord will do it. There it is. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God said, come out of the mess. God said, don't even stay in it. It's not about. God said, if you'll just say yes to him and sell out to him the thing that you're struggling with. You won't have to struggle anymore. This is your time. Keep coming, please. Bring your money right on. Just keep coming. You don't have to get behind anybody. Just walk right up, please. Just keep walking, if you please. Walk up and just drop your money right on the floor. Right on the floor. That's it. Come right on as speedily as we can. Drop it at the apostles' feet, the prophet's feet. God will bless you for dropping your offering at the prophet's feet. Come right on. Just come.